The spread of coronavirus in Bangladesh continues to grow. Till now, more than 11,700 people have been infected by the coronavirus in the country. 790 new corona positive cases were reported over the last 24 hours. On Wednesday, three more people died in the last 24 hours, taking the death toll to 186. The general holidays in Bangladesh have also been extended till May 16th. Most of the government and private offices are closed. Public transport services are also suspended. However, in view of the serious economic challenges, Bangladesh is gradually opening up some crucial sectors in the country. It has announced that from May 10th, the shops and malls will open from 10 in the morning till 4 in the afternoon to facilitate the Eid-related buying. While allowing the shops and malls to open, they have been given instructions to follow the health directives issued by the government. The malls are required to provide for hand sanitizers and maintain social distancing in view of the corona outbreak in the country. Government has also announced that banks will now open for longer hours. Earlier, they were opening till 1 p.m., but from May 10th, they will be open for business till 2.30 in the afternoon. Prime Minister Sheikh Hasina had announced on Monday that small and cottage enterprises in districts will also be allowed to open. Earlier, from April 26th, the ready-made garment factories were also allowed to open with certain conditions to meet the export demand. After the announcement of the opening of the shops and malls, large number of people were reported to pour into Dhaka using the river route. This has caused concern regarding the possible increase in the corona positive cases in the country. However, the closure of educational institutions including schools, colleges and universities has been extended till May 30th. The restriction on public transport including rail, road and flight services have also been extended till May 16th. Domestic and international flights are suspended from Bangladesh. Despite announcement of partial opening of shops and malls from May 10th, strict restrictions on intercity and inter-district movement of people is continuing in the country. The government of Bangladesh has been taking various measures to control the spread of coronavirus in the country. Prime Minister Sheikh Hasina has been interacting with the local administration through video conferencing and other means almost on a daily basis. She has been issuing instructions for the containment of the corona pandemic in Bangladesh. Government has also announced a large financial package of loans at subsidized interest rate for industries and other sectors. But there are reports of distress from certain areas despite government distributing relief and helping the poorer sections of society. In the meanwhile, government of India on Tuesday announced that it will bring back its citizens stranded in Bangladesh by chartered flights. The Civil Aviation Ministry announced seven flights will be operated from Dhaka to evacuate 1,400 Indian nationals willing to return back to India. Clearly, government of Bangladesh is trying hard to balance the needs of the health emergency with the imperatives of livelihood and employment in the country. Rajesh Jha, DD News, Dhaka.